Hello, I'm Brian Watrous. I'm a VMware Certified Instructor and a Senior Technical Trainer with VMware Education. In this six-part video series, we will demonstrate how to upgrade from vSphere 4.1 to vSphere 5.5. In the previous video, we demonstrated how to upgrade your vCenter server. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to upgrade vSphere Update Manager. To upgrade vSphere Update Manager, we once again go to the vCenter installation media, and this time we will select to install vSphere Update Manager. We select vSphere Update Manager, click the OK button, choose our installation language, and then we receive a warning message that points out that there already is a version of vSphere Update Manager installed, which comes as no surprise to us since that's what we're here for. We're upgrading to vSphere Update Manager 5.5. So we'll click OK. We'll click Next on the Welcome screen. Then after reading the End User License Agreement, we'll specify that we accept the terms of the agreement, then click Next. Then it tells us that we have the option here to download uh, various updates from VMware. Uh, turns out I've already, to save us time in this demonstration, I've already loaded up the ISO that we're going to use to upgrade our ESXi host. So there's no need for us to slow down this demonstration. So I'm going to uncheck download updates and simply click next. On this screen here, we're going to specify credentials that will allow the Update Manager server to authenticate to the vCenter server. So in this first field, we need to specify the hostname or IP address of our vCenter server. Uh, the default port number that we'll contact it on is port 80. We'll leave that at its default. The account that we're going to connect to is administrator. And all I have to do here is to type the password, then click Next. On this screen here, there's nothing that we really need to do because in this particular lab environment, our Update Manager server is an embedded Express database. So no questions answered here. Instead, we'll simply click Next. And on this screen, we can choose whether or not we want to upgrade Update Manager. I do want to upgrade Update Manager. And in order to proceed, I must indicate that I've made a backup of the existing Update Manager database. So I'll select this checkbox, then click Next. Here we can specify how we want Update Manager uh, known to the world. So choosing from the pull-down list, I'll simply go with VC01 because in this particular lab demonstration, my Update Manager server is installed on the same machine as the vCenter server itself. The port numbers that you see listed here are necessary for Update Manager to work. Uh, once again, as I said in the previous video, you'll want to um, communicate with your firewall administrators that these are the port numbers that you will need for Update Manager to work. And then if you happen to be using internet proxies, uh, you can select this checkbox to to configure your internet proxy. In this lab environment where we're performing this demonstration, we don't have a proxy server set up, so we'll simply click Next. Then on the Ready to Install screen, I'll click Install. And you'll notice that we receive a message that points out that in order to perform this installation, a reboot is going to be required. So uh, again, this is a portion of the process where in upgrading from vSphere 4.1 to 5.5 where you're going to need to have some scheduled downtime. So I'll allow the installation to continue onwards. Same message again. I'll acknowledge that a reboot's going to be required. And we'll let the installation roll here. This is going to uh, take a little bit of time. It's not too much time, but to save your time, we'll fast forward the video. And we have completed the installation of vSphere Update Manager. So we'll click Finish. Now that we have upgraded 
Update Manager. The next thing that we need to do is to install a plugin into the vSphere client for Update Manager. But before we can do that, we actually need to install a new version of the vSphere client. Uh, the reason why we need the new vSphere client is because we installed the newer version of vCenter server. So let's install the vSphere client. We'll select vSphere client and click the install button. Now it's going to take a few moments to extract the software. To save you time, we'll speed this up. Now that the software, uh, the installation software has been extracted, the rest of the installation of the vSphere client is very straightforward. We'll simply select our install language, English. And then we'll click Next at the Welcome screen. After reading the End User License Agreement, we'll indicate that we accept its terms and click Next. We'll allow the vSphere client to be installed in the default folder by clicking Next. Then we'll click the Install button. And we just sit back for a little bit while the vSphere client software is installed. Again, we'll fast forward here to save you some time. And the vSphere client software has been installed. So we'll click Finish. Now that the vSphere client is installed, if you recall a little while ago when we installed vSphere Update Manager, there was a message that indicated that we need to reboot the system. So I'm going to close the vCenter installer here and I'm going to restart my system. Again, to save you time, we'll fast forward the video now. Okay, welcome back. We've uh, returned from the rebooting of our server. And I've uh, taken the liberty to launch the vSphere client and log in as administrator. The next step that we're going to perform is to install the Update Manager plugin into this instance of the vSphere client. But just before we do, let's select our vCenter server and verify, sure enough, we're running vSphere vCenter 5.5. So everything's looking good. So we'll go to the Plugins menu. We'll choose Manage Plugins. And notice that the vSphere Update Manager plugin is available for install. We'll simply click on the Download and Install link. So the installer is downloaded. We'll go ahead and run it. We'll pick our installation language. We'll click Next on the Welcome screen. After reading the, the end user license agreement, we'll accept its terms and click Next. Then on the in, Ready to Install screen, we'll simply click the Install button. The installation of the Update Manager client plugin is pretty quick. We're done. We'll click Finish, which uh, brings us to the end of this particular video in which we illustrated how to upgrade update manager itself, be sure to continue to watch this series of videos because in the next video we'll show you how to use update manager to upgrade your hosts to ESXi 5.5. This is one video in a six-part series of videos which demonstrate how to upgrade from vSphere 4.1 to vSphere 5.5. Be sure to watch all the videos in this series. And visit the vSphere product page at vmware.com for valuable resources such as technical white papers, technical documentation, customer case studies, communities of interest, as well as other video demonstrations. The following offerings are available from VMware Education for vSphere.